Hi everyone, today's video is an updated room tour. I just wanted to show you the couple of things that have changed since my last room tour video. So here's a quick overview of the room itself and now I'm just gonna talk about the couple of little changes. On the right hand side of my room, not too much has changed. I do have a couple of more things sitting on my shelf, which looking back on my previous video, I feel like things look a little more cluttered now. So I might actually you know, go through and remove some items and declutter because I think it looked better when there was less. Within the cubby sections, I'm still storing and displaying things, but I do change this up quite often. So as I'm using different purses, things will change. And as I, you know, get new things, buy new things, things change a little bit, but I'm still using that bottom cubby for extra purse storage, purses and wallets. This one here for, you know, my hair dryer, different hair things and then the bottom one in the corner for packaging. I tend to hold on to packaging for a little while just in case I change my mind or I need to read about you know, the product. So not too much has changed here in terms of what I do with the space. This nail polish rack is new. My husband made it for me. I had an idea of what I wanted. Um, so I kind of explained to him I wanted it to look like a frame so I could sort of display the nail polish or you know one day if I want to take off the nail polish and put something else in there, a perfume or something, um, then it would just look like a nice display. So he made it for me. I've got the details on my blog. I'll leave a link in the description box but I think it just looks great because I can see all the nail polish and it kind of looks like art within my room. So I really really love it especially because he made it for me. This piece of furniture is from Ikea. I believe it's a nightstand. It was in our guest room acting as a nightstand, but we redid our guest room and no longer needed it there. So I'm using it for now to keep my camera equipment and then using the tabletop for random storage. My vanity still sits under the window because that's the perfect spot for it. I have accumulated a few more things on top of my vanity. So now I'm using the windowsill for some storage. I moved my brush holders up to the windowsill. That last one, is a repurposed, I think it was like a Glade scented, wasn't a candle, it was something else, I don't remember, but once it was finished, I just kept the outer container to use for brushes. And then I added the bottom acrylic storage unit I got last summer when I was in the States. So I'm just sitting the um, one I had previously on top to save space on my actual vanity. I have my palette storage, a little basket that I keep my project pan and items I'm trying to use or focus on using. And then that's it for the top of my vanity. It is a little bit more cluttered than it was. Um, I'm trying to keep it to a minimum though. I'm still using my large drawer and my vanity for makeup storage with the one is a cutlery tray and the other is a desk organizer, but they fit perfectly and they work well to organize everything. I did have my stool recovered. It had gotten dirty and the sponge was kind of misshapen and it just looked weird. So my mother-in-law actually, we went to the fabric store and I picked this out and she recovered it for me while she was visiting. So I think it looks great. And we also did the curtains to match, like just a little top ruffle curtain. So I think it looks really cute that they kind of coordinate. And On the left hand side of my room, I still have my desk with my computer, but I added a message board above the desk. This was a DIY project by my husband. I just come up with things and then he makes them for me. I will leave the uh, link to my blog post with the instructions um, in the description box. Uh, but it's just a cute place to store, you know, like cards and little notes and things. And it kind of adds to the room, I feel. And then on my desk, I just have basic desk stuff. My computer, um, you know, notepads, my planner, and then this little organizer actually matches the palette organizer I have on my vanity, but I just use it to store little things. Opposite my vanity, and probably what you see behind me sometimes, is this closet with big white doors. And within the closet, I just want to show you um, what I think is funny. So my room is pink, and then the closet is yellow. So this room was originally uh, yellow. It was a guest room. And then when I was going to convert it to my, you know, makeup getting ready slash office room. Um, I wanted to paint it pink, but we didn't paint the closet. And to be honest, I don't remember if it was because we didn't have enough paint or we were just lazy. Uh, but yeah, the inside of the closet is 
bright yellow and my room is pink so I think that's pretty funny. So I do try to keep the door closed so that the yellow doesn't kind of peek out but yeah. This so that's it for my room tour. If you have any questions like I said please leave them in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care.